The Lutheran Church reached Russia in the 16th century. The first Lutheran Church was dedicated in Moscow four years before the Book of Concord was published in 1580. Over the next four and a half centuries, Lutheranism continued to grow and flourish across the vast Russian Empire. Things changed abruptly with the rise of Lenin and the 1917 Communist Revolution. Under Stalin, all Christians suffered, but he was particularly ruthless to the Lutherans. During the 1920s and 30s, Lutheran churches were closed or completely destroyed, and nearly all the Lutheran pastors were exiled to gulags in Siberia. We will never know the horrific details. Millions of Lutherans in the USSR went without pastoral care for decades. Then suddenly, freedom. In 1989, the Berlin Wall was torn down, the Soviet Union collapsed, and religious freedom returned to Russia. In 1996, Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne, Indiana, embarked on a remarkable initiative to rebuild the Lutheran pastorate to care for the surviving Lutherans. The seminary received a significant grant by a generous foundation in order to help with the restoration of the Lutheran Church in the former Soviet Union. In May, the seminary called Reverend Timothy Quill to Concordia Theological Seminary as the first director of what would come to be known as the Russian Project. The Russian Project had three clear objectives. First, to prepare Russian-speaking pastors at the seminary in Fort Wayne to fill many of the vacancies of Lutheran pastors killed by the communists. The Russian-speaking students came from several countries of the former Soviet Union, from Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Moldova, Belarus, Lithuania, and Latvia. It was an exciting time to be on campus with Russian being spoken in the classrooms, dining hall, student commons and dormitories. The international character of the church and her mission was clearly seen as an essential component of what it means to be a seminary. The students have now returned to their homelands and are serving as pastors, evangelists, professors, and bishops. The second objective was to work with Lutherans in Russia and other countries of the former Soviet Union in outreach and catechesis, the catechesis of the laity. Every year professors traveled to these countries to lecture at evangelism and catechetical summer seminars. The seminars are now in their 22nd year and still going strong. The third objective was to help the Lutherans in Siberia establish their own seminary. The seminary first met in a remodeled house which was dedicated by President Wenthe in July of 1997. The creation of a seminary from scratch involved recruiting qualified and serious students, locating facilities to house them and their families, building a library with enough books in the Russian language to support the curriculum, scheduling visiting professors from the Missouri Synod, training an indigenous faculty, and designing the curriculum. Our model is a classical seminary model. We don't believe in compromises. Our academic program takes five years. We teach the biblical languages and all the disciplines necessary for pastoral formation. So it takes commitment. It takes energy. It takes time. And it takes money. Running the seminary isn't cheap, but the impact it makes has a full potential to last for generations to come in Russia and hopefully in the world far beyond Russia. By the grace of God, all three objectives of the Russian project have been reached beyond everyone's greatest expectations. The Lutheran Seminary in Siberia is now a strong, independent institution, fully capable of self-governance and staffed by a first-class indigenous faculty. Lutheran churches are being rebuilt over the rubble and ashes of Soviet tyranny. Across thousands of miles, divine services are being conducted with song and great joy. The laity are being catechized, baptized, and communed. 
faithful pastors are once again being prepared by the amazing Lutheran Seminary in Novosibirsk. For the continual restoration of the Lutheran Church in Russia, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. A generous foundation has supported the Siberian Seminary since it was established. This funding will end in 2023. Please consider supporting this mission endeavor with a one-time gift, or a pledge of a monthly gift for five years, or in your estate planning.